Welcome to the training video demonstrating Insight's CC Link communication capabilities. CC Link communication enables Insight to communicate with Mitsubishi PLCs. In this video, I will demonstrate how quickly and easily you can set up Insight to read and write data using CC Link with EasyBuilder. I will use an Insight Micro, a CIO Micro CC board, Insight Explorer 4.3 software, and Mitsubishi's GX developer to set up CC Link communications. This video will show how to exchange data between Insight and a Mitsubishi PLC using CC Link. It will also show how to monitor the data in both Insight Explorer and GX Developer. The setup is done in four separate steps. First, we will set up a vision application. Second, we will configure CC Link communication settings in EasyBuilder and select the data to read and write. Third, we will set up CC Link communication in Mitsubishi's GX Developer software. And fourth, we will monitor the data in both Inside Explorer and GX Developer. The first step is setting up the vision application. First, I will set up an Inside application that can send X, Y, and angle data to the PLC. I'll add a PatMax tool to the job. The rotation tolerance for PatMax is set to plus or minus 15 degrees. This application will require greater rotation than that. Instead of setting this value here, I'll use CC Link to read this value from the PLC. We'll also set up communication to write the X, Y, and angle results of PatMax to the PLC. In the second step, we will set up CC Link communications in EasyBuilder. In the communication step, I simply select the device that I want to talk to from the list. I'll choose a Mitsubishi PLC and select CC Link Communication. I'll set up Insight to communicate using version 1 of CC Link. Insight is capable of version 2 as well. I'll set the station number to 1 and the number of stations to 4. I'll make sure that these values match the settings on the PLC. Insight can read and write both bit and word data. In this example, I'll use only word data. In the Format Output Word Data tab, I can select the items to send to the PLC. I'll press the Add button and select each of the values that I want to output, which are the X, Y, and angle values of PatMax. In the Format Input Word Data tab, I can add values to read from the PLC. I'll choose Rotation Tolerance so my PLC can set the amount of rotation that PatMax will use to find the part. I can leave the data type as a 32-bit integer, or I can choose a different type. I'll choose a 32-bit float. I'll put Insight Online and switch to GX Developer to set up the PLC. In the third step, we will set up CC Link communications in GX Developer. I'll select Network Parameters and press the CC Link button to set up CC Link. For the start I.O. number, I will set that to 0020. My PLC has a CC Link module in slot 1 and the data will start at 32 hex, which is 0020. I'll leave mode at version 1 and set all connect count to 1 since I have only one CC Link device to communicate with. Now I will set up the devices to read and write the bit and word data. I'll use these values when I monitor the data from Insight.
Now, I'll open the Station Information dialog box. I will change the exclusive station count to 4 to match the setting in InSight. I'll press End to accept the changes. Next, I will write the settings to the PLC. Once I've written to the PLC, I'll reset the PLC to have it use the new settings. Now that the Vision application is set up, and communication is configured in EasyBuilder and the PLC, we will monitor the data exchange in both Insight Explorer and GX Developer. I'll use the Entry Data Monitor to monitor the different devices on the PLC. First, I'll monitor D100, which I set up in the network parameters. I'll set up devices for each of the PatMax results and set them to real numbers to match the settings in InSight. Now, I'll monitor D600, which is the device to write to InSight. I'll set D600 to 180. When inset is triggered, it will read this value and set the PatMax rotation tolerance to plus or minus 180 degrees. I'll put inset online and trigger it to inspect. Then. I'll verify that InSight has read the data. In the Format Input Word Data tab, the value is updated to 180. The PatMax rotation tolerance has been updated to plus or minus 180 degrees. As I trigger InSight, I can view the updated values in EasyBuilder and in GX Developer. In this video, I've shown how easy it is to set up InSight to communicate with the Mitsubishi PLC using CCLink. We set up InSight to write X, Y, and angle results and read a PatMax rotation tolerance from the Mitsubishi PLC. We use GX Developer to monitor the results. Thanks for watching.